Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What's going on ladies and gentlemen, so recently my friends over at TLEV4 came up with a uh, new predictions video and it got me thinking that I should be making a new uh, HHN Dream Mazes video. Now, um, they did mention one maze that I really want to touch up on a little bit before I share my Dream Mazes. Um, originally I was going to film this video with Sammy, but Sammy and I uh, were just very busy this weekend. so. I am just going to shoot it myself, but um, this is going to be talking about, of course, my dream mazes here at HHN Hollywood. Um, take this with a very uh, tiny grain of salt. I mean, this is not a predictions video. This is just stuff that I would love to see come at the event one day, but we shall see. Um, and yeah, uh, so TLEV Horror, uh, definitely go check out their channel and go subscribe. Um, but Josue brought up an ACDC maze potentially coming to the event this year as a prediction. Um, I would, I wanted to touch up a little bit and give my opinion on what I think about that. Now, first off, I'm a huge ACDC fan. I'm a huge metal and rock fan. So ACDC is on that spectrum of metal and rock. Um, I would love to see an ACDC maze, to be honest, because I think they can do so much with the music that they have. And I feel it would just be a quality, really good quality maze. Um, not to mention there's rumor that they're going to be going on tour this year with Brian Johnson coming back to the band and they've been doing a lot of rehearsing lately. Um, the only thing that does suck is that um, Malcolm Young, who was a uh, songwriter and um, rhythm guitar of ACDC, has passed away. Uh, so that's going to be a little hard seeing ACDC without Malcolm Young. However, with the rumors of them potentially going on tour with Brian Johnson again, uh, there was also rumors of them releasing a new album this year, so I am very excited to see uh, how that all goes. So the reason why I bring that up is because that can increase chances of potentially getting an ACDC maze for this um, haunt season at HHN 2020. Um, I think an ACDC maze would be amazing. There's a lot of great songs and a lot of great content they can work with that I would love to see. They did the same thing with Black Sabbath and Alice Cooper as well as Slash back in the day and Figure. So they've worked with a lot of artists in the past. EDM, rock, uh, classic rock. And Slash did a bunch of original music for not only Clowns but he did it for Universal Monsters and Universal Monsters Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. So I would be freaking um, all for a ACDC maze. I have five dream mazes that I would love to see come to the event and two honorable mentions in that purpose. So without further ado, let's get started with number five and that would go to a Megadeth maze. Now, I, like I said, I'm a big fan of metal and stuff and I feel a Megadeth maze with their music can work at the event. Uh, of course, you got uh, songs like Peace Sells But Who's Buying, Hangar 18, of course, The Conjuring, um, you know, uh, Symphony of Destruction, just to name a few, um, but I think a lot of their music can translate well into a maze. Um, I'm very much would love to see Rattlehead come out and pop out and scare you everywhere. That would be freaking awesome, and I would love to just hear the music of Megadeth as I'm walking through this maze. Number four is going to go out to, of course, um, Iron Maiden, which is right here. Um, Iron Maiden would work. Iron Maiden makes great music. A lot of the music is heavily uh, inspired by uh, different wars and um, stuff of history over the years, so I, I really think they can work that and twist it in their own way. On top of that, if you got Eddie jumping out at you everywhere, that's pretty scary and it's pretty badass at the same time. Um, they got amazing songs, The Trooper, Ace is High, uh, Number of the Beast, uh, Wasted Years, Hollowed Be Thy Name, just to name a few, and they don't disappoint um, in concert or music-wise, so I feel like their, their music can translate well under... Um, um, a maze. So yeah. Number three for me will go to the Misfits. Now the Misfits, of course, the iconic punk band is heavily inspired. Uh, a lot of their songs based around Halloween. So I feel like a Misfits maze can 
translate well and you can turn a lot of those iconic songs into a maze especially when you have the fiend running around throughout the maze scaring you they can put a twist on that make them look a little scarier that would be really cool and i think the misfits would um, be an amazing maze at the um event last caress of course halloween where eagles dare um 20 eyes uh dig up her bones i mean Again, just to name a few songs right there, I mean, I think it would translate amazing as a maze, and I would love to see it. Um, so far, my list has consisted nothing but Music Maze, and this is going to be the last Music Maze I bring up, which would be, of course, um, Metallica. Now, Metallica is coming in at number two, because one, Metallica is one of my all-time favorite bands, and two, again, with the other previous bands, their music would translate well into a maze. You got Ride the Lightning, you got Seek and Destroy, Master of Puppets, you got Enter Sandman, just to name a couple of the heavy hitters. Um, and I feel like their music will translate well into the maze, especially with Enter Sandman. I mean, the song talks about the damn boogeyman and stuff like that. So that'd be really cool to see how they can transform the music of Metallica into a maze. I know last year it was rumored that they were going to come, but they couldn't get licensing rights at the last minute. So they, they brought in, I think, us. Um, but nonetheless, if that is true or not, um, I think us was amazing, an amazing maze, and I would hopefully love to see the music of Metallica come to life at HHN 20, uh, 2020 or in the future sometime. And of course, my last maze that I would love to see, and this one comes straight from fan Robert Estrada, who actually messaged me personally. Uh, me and him have been talking a lot, and he's a really good guy on the fence movie reviews. Go subscribe to them that was a little shameless plug but go subscribe to them and see their movie reviews they have a lot of good opinions and stuff but nonetheless robert estrada brought it to my attention that a doctor sleep maze would be amazing now i personally do agree because that movie was in my opinion a really good sequel to the shining uh both to the book and to the movie that stanley kubrick did back in uh the 80s so I feel like a Doctor Sleep maze would be an amazing maze to see, especially with a lot of the stuff that's involved in that maze. And being that we had The Shining like two, three years ago, um, it would be a great sequel for that maze as well. So Doctor Sleep can translate really well into um, Halloween Horror Nights, in my opinion. So I would love to see that. Um, some honorable mentions I would love to see, and this one has been going with HHN fans. Both of these have been going with HHN fans over the years, but um, it's just a matter of licensing rights if Warner Brothers wants to share them out. Of course, one of them being The Conjuring Universe. I would love to see The Conjuring Universe at HHN, see what John Murdy and Chris Williams can cook up with that. Uh, there's so much content they can work with, of course, from um, the, the witch demon from the first one, the nun, um, the crooked man. Uh, La Llorona, uh, Annabelle herself, um, just to name a couple of the demons, but there's so much they can work with uh, if they did a Conjuring Universe maze, and I think a lot of the fans would like that a lot. I know Horror Made Here did it in 20, I believe it was 2017 or 20, 2018, and um, it was such a good maze that they did at Horror Made Here that um, I would love to see HHN's take on it this time. And of course, one that everyone's been requesting for so long to come at HHN, and it's one of the biggest predictions I see every year, uh, would be it. Um, whether it be the original or the new one, I'd be fine with either one. I know a lot of people love the new uh, stuff a lot. I love the new one as well, but I also have a deep love for the uh, original as well, because Tim Curry as Pennywise was just amazing. Um, I feel like both clowns are scary in their own way, and they both kind of bring that on-screen uh, creepy vibe to them uh, in their own different ways. So I would love to see an It maze come to Halloween Horror Nights one year, um, and we'll see. Um, so yeah, that is going to do it for a couple of my uh, dream mazes I would love to see at HHN. If you guys have any dream mazes you would love to see at HHN, leave them in the comments below, and I would love to read them, respond back to you guys, and see what you guys come up with. Um, be sure to follow the channel on social media, uh, at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at The Knights of Horror on Instagram. And, um, of course, hit that subscribe button and bell notification for any HHN or haunt updates or just to, if you have a general love for horror like we do please subscribe to the channel. That is going to do it for this video, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed my dream maze list, and uh, I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.